Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to another magical advent calendar, I'm really excited about today's, it's a brand new advent calendar that I've never seen before and it seems very niche. This is the Harry Potter, the Marauder's Map advent calendar. I'm wondering if every single item in this calendar is going to be Marauder's Map themed, I guess we're going to find out together, colour me intrigued, I'll talk more about this calendar in just a moment but if you are wondering what is behind every single door well don't worry we're gonna be opening them all today so keep on watching and hey if you are brand new here firstly hello welcome don't forget that you click the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird magical online family and don't forget that this is the month of the 24 days of advent series I have been uploading an advent calendar every single day looking behind every single door to make sure that you guys know what calendars are worth it and what calendars perhaps aren't either way let Let's get on with the video because I cannot wait to see what is inside this one. Okay then, so here we have it. This is the Marauder's Map Advent Calendar. Let's take a closer look. I ordered this on Amazon and I saw Marauder's Map, I put it in my basket, I checked out, it had arrived. I did not know who made this calendar but it turns out it's Cine Replicas that makes the Marauder's Map Advent Calendar. So colour me intrigued. Their deluxe Harry Potter Advent Calendar I have already reviewed so go check that out. It's really lazy. Oh, I did not pull it that hard. I, no, <laughs> it's thinner than a cereal box. <sighs> it feels cheap. That's just another pointless product. Let's see what's inside this one. So let's talk about price. So this cost 35 pounds. This is also 35 euros. 24 gifts are included in this calendar. Now I am gonna just slip off this little sleeve that is around it because I am going to put this to one side because on the back of this which I'm not going to show you and I do not want to look at I have not looked at it it's the spoilers of everything in this calendar so let's pop that to one side maybe we'll have a look at it later maybe we won't now I've always been a big fan of the Marauders I love the Marauders map I love the design work of the Marauders map I think it's absolutely beautiful especially this one pink willow segment I think we just need to jump straight on into this calendar on the previous Cine Replicas calendar that we have done this year, they were giving away a full-size replica of a Firebolt, so that's really cool. Sadly, we didn't win it. They are also doing a giveaway, except this time it's for a Nimbus 2000 Junior. I do believe they are doing child-size replicas now. Countdown to Christmas with one gift each day, and it's all about the Marauder's Map. I know what you're waiting for. Let's just get to door number one. Door number one is here and it's looking like quite a big door. Ooh, oh, okay, let's be gentle. Okay, um... What is this? And I do roughly have the memory of a Cine Replicas calendar last year where they cling film wrapped it, like saran wrapped. This calendar is a frustration. I can't deal. I cannot deal. Who the f thought that was a good idea? What a piece of I can't tell you how long it took me to peel this cellophane off the entire calendar. I want to throw this advent calendar out of a window. This calendar, man. I genuinely feel stressed. That was the worst advent calendar I think I've ever opened. Ugh. And it was so frustrating. I'm wondering if they've taken that feedback on board and they've tried another material. Either way, I am gonna, oh yeah, okay. These, that's much better. This is so much better than cling film. And it's quite exciting because I feel like I'm opening a present, which is quite cool. Okay, so the first thing we are met with is some sort of wooden tree ornament. So it's black, we've got a stag on there, a wand with some magic, and it says Expecto Patronum. I don't know how festive that is. Either way, what do you guys think of door number one? I will also note, and I understand the reasoning of why it's there, I hate this trademark that's so obviously put. Could you not have put it on the back? Let's move on to door number two, which is teeny tiny and it's hiding over here. Oh my god, these are so hard to open because. Oh. <coughs> Whoops. Right, I'm. Okay. Ugh. What is going on? Guys, come on. Ugh. Okay, I think we're in. 
So we have our first Marauder themed item and this looks to be a stationary product. It's a teeny tiny Remus Lupin and he does actually have his little scars down his face. It is in a chibi design. I've said it a million times on this channel. I personally don't like chibi designs. Either way, we've got a paper clip. I think it's quite a cute paper clip if you were to like chibi. Okay, door number three. Please be easier to open. Oh my god. There's just no neat way to open this. A lot of excess plastic. This is a Marauder's Map highlighter. Is it going to be yellow? No, it's going to be orange. I'm just going to test out if this pen works, which it does. So this is probably the first product that I do actually like from the advent calendar so far. Here is the design on the actual highlighter itself. It's one-sided. I don't mind that item. I quite like it. Okay, door number four. You can't press down with these. It's really... I should not need a pen knife to open an advent calendar. I have a feeling I may know what this product is going to be. Let's take a look. Right, design wise, I think it's cute. It's a little, very thin kind of canvas pouch with a thin drawstring at the top. I just do not know what to do with these kind of little pouches. I just don't see the point in them. Let's continue to door number five, which is looking like a very long one, which is right down here. Okay, okay, this might be an item that I like. Hmm, is this meant to... Oh my god, what? Why? <laughs> um, okay, so it's a pen and inside is like a teeny tiny copy of the Marauder's Map, which is kind of clever. I've never seen a pen do this and it is double-sided, but what's the point? I'll be honest, I don't really like it. It's just a bit weird. Please let me know what you think of the pen down below. The main word I have in my mind is why. Moving on to day number six then. Oh my goodness. Okay. I do believe we have got a sleep mask. Here it is, mischief managed. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. We've got that ugly licensing, which definitely could go on the back somewhere. It's a very cheap eye mask. Oh, and it really doesn't block out any light whatsoever. I'm just seeing yellow. Door number seven. It looks like we have a little mischief managed, um, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good stamp. Oh. They've missed a trick here. Why have they not put the little footprints on there so I can make my own footprint maps? Cine Replicas, if you would like to hire me for future calendar designs, please get in touch. Um, okay, we'll do that slightly gently. Oh no, it doesn't make a difference. Oh dear. It took a little while, but we got there eventually. You can kind of see what it looks like. It's a little bit too fussy. I would much rather just the footprints. Ah, oh, I think that might be a flop. Let's move on to door number eight. And we've got ourselves one of those tiny little silicon key rings. I don't mind the design of this. Is it something that I'm desperate to put on my keys? No. Um, it does feel quite cheaply made, um, which does seem to be the theme with these Cine Replicas calendars from my experience. I think this is the fourth Cine Replicas calendar that I've opened over the last couple of years. And um, the value, it's just, yeah, you can just feel that everything is quite cheaply made. Let's move on to date number nine then, which is here. I'm not gonna bother trying to tackle the door because I could just fold it over. This is an item that I mean, it's quite a cheap item, but I will admit I do use these. So this is a measuring tape. There is a really nice design of the Marauders map on the front. They've kept the original design. It's just brown on the back, so they have colour coordinated it. I like this item. Um, I find them quite useful. I like them, so that's a hit for me. Okay, door number 10. 
Ugh. We have ourselves another stationery item. This is a Expecto Patronum notepad. I don't mind it. The design's a bit lacking. I don't know. It just feels a little bit lazy. Okay, so we are on door number 11. Just tearing this canvas to shreds. This is another one of their coasters. We have seen this in their deluxe Harry Potter advent calendar. The same product, but a different design. I gotta say, I love the design of this one, but I think what lets it down is it's so flimsy and just cheap feeling. Okay then, door number 12. Now that's me trying to be neat. Urgh! More plastic and sticky door stuff. Okay, so it's a black yo-yo. You can just about see, if I sh point this at my softbox up there, my light, you can just about see Marauder's Map. But I think if it wasn't being shone at, you couldn't really tell. Um, this is another repeat product from a Cinereplica's advent calendar. I actually really loved the yo-yo last time because it made sense. It made sense because it was a Weasley's Wizard Wheezy's yo-yo. The colours were perfect. It was purple and orange. It had the logo really clear on it. But in this calendar, it just feels... It just feels like, oh, well, we've got yo-yos. Let's just stick another design on it. It doesn't make sense for the Marauders map. I'm pretty disappointed with it. Door number 13, we've got, is this a pop socket? Oh my God. Okay, so we have a product which is pretty new. I've not seen one of these in a Cinereplicus candle before and I use pop sockets. This just says, I silently swear that I'm up to no good mischief manage. It's a fairly simple design. They have just bought a very cheap standard black pop socket and put a sticker on it. Don't like the design of it. So far, there has been two items out of this calendar that I've liked. Okay, door number 14. Uh, okay, so these are glow-in-the-dark footprint stickers, but they're all attached. So it's a singular sticker. I'm really finding it hard to be positive about an item like this. Um, I know I've been going on about footprints, but they could have made a stamp that did this. Miss for me. Come on, door number 15. Okay, so we have a lenticular button badge. Oh, see, this is quite nice. So it goes from Black Marauder's Map and then it kind of shows all the footprints and the sparkles. I actually like that as a button. It is quite small, but I like where they've gone with that. Door number 16. Oh my. This is Peter Pettigrew uh, in his scabbers form. It's quite a thick eraser or rubber as they're known in England. I don't mind this product. I think it's quite cute and it might look quite sweet in a child's pencil case. Oh, the tiny ones in these calendars always make me a little bit suspicious. We've got ourselves a pin. It's a chibi, unfortunately, but this is a serious black pin. I feel like I would have preferred maybe the prisoner sign. But either way, this is a soft enamel pin. It's a singular clasp. Not my favorite. Door number 18. I'm really looking forward to getting to the end of this calendar actually. Oh no, it's another jigsaw. I said it in the previous one. It's thinner than a cereal box cardboard. I don't know what the design of this one's going to be. Here you have it. Um, it doesn't even stay together particularly well either because it's so thin. But this is Harry with the Marauder's Map. It's a little jigsaw that kept me entertained for five seconds. Not a fan. Okay, door number 19. It's quite a large one. <gasps> we got some socks. I do like socks. <gasps> okay, here we have it. Okay, we've got Marauder's Map socks. <laughs> Okay, these are kind of cute. I'm liking these. So we have the Marauders map there. We've even got the footprints. It says Hogwarts School of... Hogwarts School of... Wait, it doesn't even say of witchcraft and wizardry. It just says Hogwarts School of. You can't, you can't have an incomplete sentence. Um... <laughs> I do think they should have maybe been brown instead of black. I think they're still kind of cool. Um, I do like socks. I think I will get my wear out of those. Don't mind those. Door number 20 is quite a long one. Let's see, goodbye door. 
okay this is a ruler it's a 15 centimeter one so it's a mini one I don't mind this it's quite sweet I think this is the problem with this calendar like even with the things that I like it's I don't mind it I don't think that's the kind of feeling that you want when you're opening a calendar like this but I'm not sure that this calendar is directed at someone like me even though I'm a Harry Potter fan this is a replica company they create some amazing replicas so I don't understand the calendars that they're coming out with it just doesn't really make sense to me but let's move on to door number 21 <laughs> Oh, we've got ourselves a teeny tiny little Marauder's Map magnet. I quite like that. It's quite cute. I can see that being put onto my fridge. I don't mind it. I gotta stop saying I don't mind it, but it's true. Door number 22. <sighs> Some real bent stickers from the movie. They're just crinkled stickers. Not for me. Let's see what's in door number 23. Oh dear. Oh no. Real replicas exist of this. Though they have included the foldings. I will give them that. There is stuff like this. Yeah. Cute, I think, if you can't maybe afford the real Marauders map or you don't own it. I think it might be kind of cute, but it's very clunky. It's, it's not even particularly well folded. Like, this is how it looks out of a door. Um, I'm struggling to say something good about it. I'm so sorry, guys. I know this entire video has me being like, what? The final day, 24. What's in day number two? Oh my goodness. It's another sack. Okay, it's a, it's a tote bag. But I like the design of this. I just wish it was on a slightly thicker bag. This is a design on a bag I would use. I just wish it was slightly thicker. I'm not going to use this. It's not going to become my everyday tote bag, put it that way. The quality just isn't there. Like, yeah, you can see the sock design through it. You wouldn't be able to do that on a regular tote bag. We've finally come to the end of this Marauder's Map calendar. Okay, let's take a quick look at everything that we got from this Marauder's Map calendar. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is everything. Let's discuss. So, did they follow the theme of Marauders? Yes, I think they did. There was a few Patronus things, which I think maybe didn't really fit the vibe. Let's talk about the things I did like, which is quite slim. So I think my favorite item, oddly, was this measuring tape and maybe the highlighter and the socks at a push, at a push. They're not the best designs one I've seen. There's a few items that I quote unquote didn't mind. And that was the ruler, the little magnet, the button badge that was lenticular. I didn't mind the tote bag design. I just think the quality of it was a bit rubbish. Everything over here, I just didn't really care for. It felt very cheap. I think it just comes down to Cine Replicas making quite cheap products to put in their advent calendar. Now with that said, this was a 35 pounds advent calendar. So it wasn't your most expensive. And with that in mind, do I think this calendar's worth it? Potentially, but not for me. <laughs> um, it just felt very random to have a very niche theme of Marauder's Map. Uh, I think the design's pretty repetitive. You've got to love the Marauder's Map to buy an advent calendar <laughs> themed around the Marauder's Map. Um, I've always been a big fan of the OG design. It's your classic Cine Replicas quality advent calendar. Would I buy this for myself if it wasn't me doing it for a review for you guys absolutely not wouldn't touch it with a barge pole would i buy this as a quote unquote cheap calendar for a younger witch or wizard that likes harry potter maybe but you can get better advent calendars for better quality look at the mattel one that we did for example that was for kids that was affordable it was amazing for what it was and the price point. This compared to that, if I'm comparing like Mattel to this one, pretty big letdown. I just didn't enjoy it, but that's just me. I'm so sorry that this, this feels like more of a letdown than the Swarovski advent calendar. If you haven't checked that out, 
<laughs> you are in for a treat. Go check that out. I cannot personally recommend this calendar from a value perspective, nor an enjoyment perspective. Let's just talk... <laughs> Where do I even start about this? This is not the first calendar by Cinerepicas that is so frustrating to open. I think they did try to resolve it from last time, but they've kind of gone with this, like this is very adhesive, even on the bits that are covering the product. So you had this sticking to every product as you're ripping it out. There is no way to keep these doors intact. Um, that in itself is very frustrating and I think that would have ruined my advent calendar experience. Had I have bought this for myself in December, I'd be like, oh my God, the doors just don't open. Wasn't a fun experience to open all the doors, whereas some calendars are an absolute joy. If this is your first video of mine that you are seeing of this series or just in general, I'm not normally this negative, but I will always give you my honest opinion on whether I think it's worth it for you to invest your hard-earned money into a product. And for this, I don't think it's worth it. There's plenty of other advent calendars in this series. Link down below to every day of advent that has been thus far. There's some fantastic calendars that we've had a lot of fun with that have been worth your money. So go check those out. But hey, I really want to hear from you guys. I love seeing your comments on whether you think things are worth it or not like i don't know if it's just me do you guys see the value here so i'm gonna leave it to you guys <laughs> you guys know my general consensus about this one leave your comment down below i'll definitely be replying to some of the comments on this video if you did get this far firstly thank you secondly give this video a thumbs up if you agree with my opinions and review of this calendar go check out some of my other calendars that are a little bit more positive i uh yeah I'm gonna go. This did not feel festive. This would have made my December quite disappointing. Um, ah, Cine Replicas, I think you just need to lay off the advent calendars. Stick to replicas. You're good at those. Bye. I feel like I need to hide under my desk right now. Um, I find it very hard to be negative about things. Um, Hmm.